Secretary of War Dern. In commemorating Army Day this year, I would like you to think of our Army as I have learned to know it. Not only as our defender in war, but as a force with a peacetime record of constructive accomplishment that is unequal. From the very beginning of the Republic, our Army has served as a pioneer, colonizer, and organizer. Its soldiers have won as brilliant victories against the forces of nature and disease as they have on the battlefield, victories which have benefited all mankind. The epic of the West could not have been written without the Army, which founded Fort Dearborn, now Chicago. The Army protected settlers and wagon trains from hostile Indians, and also enabled the railroad to span the continent. In colonial administration, Army officers like General Leonard Wood and General John J. Pershing made brilliant records. Walter Reed Hospital in Washington, D.C. is a monument to the Army doctor who wiped out yellow fever, the scourge that stopped the French canal builders in Panama. General Gorgas, another Army medical officer, cleaned up the tropical fever swamps, making the canal possible. And General Gothel, on left, cut the isthmus in two by his engineering genius. The Army, by completing the Panama Canal, carried out one of the most difficult engineering projects of modern times, which today serves the world. The imposing Washington Monument, the Library of Congress, and Lincoln Memorial are a few of the architectural triumphs of Army engineers. The Army built Wilson Dam at Muscle Shoals, and for flood control is constructing a gigantic levee system to prevent the raging waters of the Mississippi from repeating the disaster of 1927. The Army is right on the job when relief is needed, providing food and clothing for the victims. The Army helps to fight forest fires from the air. The Army organized and directs the Civilian Conservation Corps, which is cleaning up our woodlands for reforestation. In the sky, Army pioneers blazed many trails. In Wilson's administration, the Army started the air mail service and is carrying the mails again. Army pilots made the first flight around the world in 1924, Magellans of the Air. The Army developed blind flying, teaching airmen to guide their planes by instruments alone. The Army does aerial mapping and surveying, employing the most modern methods for this great task. The Army Signal Corps was instrumental in developing the telegraph and still operates the Alaskan cable and telegraph system. The Army aids the farmer and cotton planter through its chemical warfare service and air corps, which sprays trees and crops from airplanes to destroy insects like the boll weevil. Major Connell of the Army perfected the gas mask, now a standard rescue device for fires and mine disasters. The Army also developed tear gas to rout bank robbers. General Hugh Johnson, head of the NRA, is typical of Army officers in civil life. He is a graduate of West Point, and West Point is the cradle of the Army and the inspiration of the service. For 132 years, its sons have gone forth to serve you on every field, the embodiment of the Army spirit.